Hi everyone, I will be taking off the driver's cyber today and the airbag module which is under the console somewhere here. Obviously it's really rainy outside so I'm gonna try to do it inside for now just take off the console uh, take off the covers as far as I could and then obviously eventually when I want to disconnect it I will come in and disconnect both batteries because there's another one battery on the front uh, which is like a small one like a backup probably and I will just show you this later okay I'm gonna put lights in my head so you can see uh, much better basically I'm gonna start with the console so we got two plastic covers on each side of the back of it from the rear seat so I'm gonna remove those two basically you just lift it up oh, just pull it gently try to not break anything okay came off yep that's the clip so if you look in there 10 mil. Then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Maybe oh, how it came off quite easy. I'm gonna use my impact and just undo this one. Yeah, is that 10 mil? Probably like 30 mil long. But so I'm gonna put it on the seats. I'm gonna do it from the other side as well. Take this one off. Yeah, then you got two screw here. I'm gonna show you where they are. Those two. So you got coming quite easy. Yeah, there's no screw here. I'm gonna take this rubber mat from inside so I can see if there's any more screw. But I don't think so. I yeah, there's nothing else here. I will try to take this panel off. As you can see, there's only those two screw, and the one down below there. Nothing here. Oh, try to get take the gear knob cover, so maybe I can see something there. Yeah, that's come off. So I got this USB and the lighter. So I'm gonna disconnect those cables. I'm gonna take all USB off. So that's the panel. Okay, I will try to take. I just wanna break it. I'll try to take this this trim. So I'm gonna try on this side gently. I don't wanna break anything. I'm going towards the gear. No. Yeah. This is this handbrake switch yeah so now I've got this trim off which I'm gonna take it out and there are actually two more there one on the outside one so so now I got four left I will take all of them which is the one on the on the middle side the one with like washer small one small head with a big washer okay and I will take the one on the front as well okay so I, at the moment I've took all of the screw you got two in this cup holder then you got the next you got two outside before the gear knob two inside in the same line just with a smaller head with a big washer and then you got four over there And now, now this panel come off loose, as you can see. So I'm gonna remove this one, then I get much more space to actually slide this one out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to gently pull it out. Maybe use the trim remover. Yeah, so that's come off. I'm gonna disconnect this one. And one cable, which is there. Oh. Yeah, I put this one. 
somewhere safe to over there. So I can lift it up. There should be a model. Yep, it's there. So it's. I think I will be able to remove it from the back. Now I need to remove the battery, but I'm gonna wait with this until it stops to rain, and then I'm gonna disconnect the model and remove the model. I'm not sure if the car will be drivable without the model, so I will try after I remove the model if I could move the car back and forward if it will start. If not, it's fine. I'm gonna just need to know uh, the guy, um, my brother-in-law, who got the garage that he won't be able to move it. So I will try now to remove the cover for the for the seatbelt, and then once I've removed the cover and I got the access to the seatbelt, I will look into disconnect the battery and remove the module and remove the seatbelts, so I can send the seatbelts and the module to the airbag team. So. I can get the CBUS repair and the module reset. So hopefully this will come in the next couple of days. I don't know what is the turnaround time. Uh, but once I got this one on, I can actually fit it, reset the faults. Hopefully that will be clear. Then I'll just need to obviously still sort out the dashboard. And uh, yeah, waiting for the, for the body shop to actually confirm the date when they can do it. Uh, I'm looking into the bonnet, which I've found one online, and I probably go for it. I'll just have to, you know, double check something, and yeah, then only need to find the wing, some of bit, a little bit from the Volvo, which I already got the part number. So yeah, uh, so I'm gonna now try to remove the Sievers cover. Firstly, I'm gonna undo this one, which I think is 13. Uh, it's on the just under the seat so I'm gonna remove this one because I think then you can slide out the sea bars and then I will remove this trim uh, yeah hopefully it won't rain too much now I'm just coming to the end nearly and I'm doing by hand so yeah it will oh come on come on come on yeah Basically, once you could screw off, you lift up the side and you slide the other side because you get this like a T T shape, which was which was actually lock on the bracket here. So once this is off, I'm gonna remove the cover now. Okay. Yeah, you just pull it and it slides down. As you can see over here with clips which is sliding. So I'm gonna pull this metal part from here. I'm not gonna send this one so got the bottom of the sea bars. So now I need to undo that one. Those two, which is this one is 13. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna first maybe remove the tree. I'm gonna remove the bottom tree, which now okay should come out, yeah. So, you got 13 mil here, which I'm gonna take in a minute. Then you got two 10 mil. Yep. Yeah. Then you have uh, symbols there, which you have one of the sockets. To lift up the orange, you're gonna lift up the orange bit, uh, I believe, a little bit, and then as the crash sensor, and then. Um, it just slides out and then you get 13 mil over here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna disconnect the battery, two of them, and wait a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna undo the negative, put something to make sure you won't, you won't touch it. I don't wanna damage the... Mm, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna lose this rubber. So I'm gonna put it here, yeah. Make sure you won't touch it. There's one more battery which is over there. Uh, I need small sockets. Yeah, so that's the one, guys. I made. Obviously, it's not finished yet. 
uh, but if any of you want to have some uh, some of the footage with like how I've done it what I've done it any advice or anything just let me know guys oh, I'm happy more than happy to actually show you everything so yeah made a keychain was it I wasn't bad myself I got someone to get the posture I'm now fitting the pop top so I need to just done the frame which was well now I need to just you know finish around it and fit the canvas properly and yeah if any of you had any, any question regarding the van all bodywork is damaged but that's gonna be repaired at some point hey let's go back to the Volvo now <laughs> okay so I'm gonna so yeah that's the one there's no connection so now I'm gonna wait a few minutes As you can see, they got this washer. I'm gonna try to unscrew this washer because it's very tight. So make sure that this this bracket basically go between the washer and the board. Oh, that's the model, actually. Yeah, as you can see, the four boards, which it shouldn't be a problem really to mm, to remove it. Yeah, with one in the front, one in the back, which are. 10 mil. Okay guys, so I didn't saw that my battery died in my camera. I just put in my power bank now. So what I've done, I've disconnected the airbag model, which was for 10 mil screw. Quite easy, obviously once you lift up the console, you don't have to take the console, the central console out. It's enough that you just lift it up. So you can get the spanner and just pull pull it out and then obviously gently disconnect all the all the cables. I'm gonna connect the batteries. So I'm gonna now screw it with a hand. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm gonna connect the negative on the main battery. No, it won't start. Maybe I would connect the handbrake with the handbrake. Yeah, that was the handbrake. It won't start if you disconnect the switch. Come on, come on, come on. Just... I'll put the brake. I'm gonna close the bonnet now. So it will stop beeping. So I will try to move forward. Yeah, it's fine. Backwards, reverse. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, everything so far today went fine. So I'm gonna leave it for now and see. You when I will get the Sibers pack and the model. Thanks for watching.